Hey, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So we finished up our unit on changes to the Earth's surface and we're moving on. Our next unit is all about um, the sun, Earth, and the moon. So we're going to start out by talking about the sun, Earth, and moon and identifying and comparing the physical characteristics of the sun, Earth, and moon. So we're going to be talking about the, how the sun, earth, and moon are, are different from each other, and also some things that they may have in common. There are some things that just the sun and earth have in common. There are some things that the sun and moon have, have in common. There are some things that the earth and moon have in common. And then there are even a few things that all three, the sun, earth, and moon have in common. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna give you some clues these clues are going to be talking about just the sun, earth, or moon. So I want, I, after I give you all the clues, I'm going to give you a second to think about um, which one of those I am talking about. So here are your clues. It's a medium-sized star. It produces light and heat. It has the largest mass out of the three. It has an atmosphere, has gravity, it's a hundred, whoops, that's supposed to be 150 million kilometers from Earth. I'll have to fix that. It is 10 million degrees Celsius. It is made up of gas, specifically hydrogen is the main gas. It is 1.4 million kilometers in diameter. And it is 4.6 billion years old. So I will give you a second to think about it. Use those clues. Is this referring to the sun, earth, or moon? Hopefully you came up with the sun. Yay. Yes, out of those three, sun, earth, and moon, the sun is the only one that is a star that produces its own heat and light. It is by far the largest out of those three. It does have an atmosphere. A lot of people don't realize that. And um, they think because it's made of gas, it does not have an atmosphere, but it does. It also has gravity. It's very, very far from earth. It's very, very hot. Um, it's very big. It's very old. <laughs> All right. So there is the sun. Let's see our next one. Here are your clues. It's a satellite of earth. It reflects light from the sun. It has frozen water. It's made of rock. It has mountains and plains. It has no atmosphere. So it is hot during the day and freezing cold at night. There's nothing to trap the heat in. It has gravity, but less gravity than Earth, meaning you would weigh only one sixth of your weight here. It rotates. It has the smallest mass of the sun, Earth, and moon. It has large craters. Astronauts have visited here. It has no oxygen. It's 240,000 miles from Earth. No water, wind, clouds, or weather. It does have frozen water, but no liquid water. Oh no, I already gave you the answer. <laughs> Hopefully you came up with that we are discussing the moon. The moon is Earth's natural satellite. It gets its light from the sun. So when you see the moon shining bright in the sky, that is not the moon making its own light. That is the light from the sun hitting it and bouncing off. It does have frozen water. A lot of people don't know that. It's made of rock lots of craters, is the smallest of the three. It does rotate. All right, and then our last one, third planet from the sun, revolves around the sun, 71% covered in water, home to plants and animals, reflects light from the sun, has frozen water, composed of rock, has mountains and plains, an oxygen-rich atmosphere that protects from the sun's rays, has gravity, rotates, 4.6 billion years old and constantly changing that is the earth. So hopefully that very first clue, third planet from the sun, uh, lets you know that the earth is the only one out of those three that is a planet. The sun is a star, the moon is a satellite, 
the earth is the only one that is a planet. Um, and then of course, you know, we're the only, the only one out of the three that has plants and animals and water. All right, so let's compare. Let's talk about what do the earth and moon have in common? I believe there are four things. I'll give you a second to think about them. Think about what you know about the earth, what you know about the moon, see what you can come up with. What, it, what, what do the earth and moon have that is the same? The earth and moon both reflect light from the sun. A lot of people miss this one and think this is only referring to the moon. The earth does as well. We do not make our own light. Our light comes from the sun. If you look at pictures of, outer, of the earth from outer space, you can see that the sun's light is reflecting off of the earth. Um, they both have frozen water. The earth has frozen water and liquid water. The moon only has frozen water. They're both composed of rock. That's why we can physically stand and walk on them. And they both have mountains and plains and craters. All right, what about the sun and the earth? What do the sun and earth have in common? I believe there's only one thing. I believe so. I think there's only one thing. I did mention it when I was listing all the characteristics, um, but the thing that the sun and earth have in common is that they both have an atmosphere. So they both have a layer of gases surrounding them. The moon does not have an atmosphere. All right, what about the sun and moon? This is a tricky one. A lot of people ask, well, the sun and moon don't really have anything in common, but they do. And it is that they are both non-life supporting. That means they don't have living things on them. Out of those three, sun, earth, and moon, the earth is the only one with plants and animals. Also, I guess I should add too that both the sun and the moon do not have liquid water. The moon does have frozen water, but the earth is the only one with liquid water. All right, and then we have all three. What do the sun, earth, and moon have in common? There are two things. I'll see if you can think about it. One thing is that all three have gravity. They all have gravity. A lot of people are surprised by this because they think that the moon does not have gravity. The moon does have gravity. It just, however, has much less gravity than the sun and the earth, but it does have gravity. Um, we learned when we were talking about forces a couple months ago, we learned that the more mass something has, the more gravity it has. So that makes sense. The sun, earth, and moon, the sun has the most mass out of those three objects. The sun's gravitational pull is so strong that it keeps all eight planets in orbit. The earth doesn't have as much mass as the sun, but it still has a gravitational pull. That's what keeps us from floating off into outer space, keeps us on the earth. And then the moon also has mass, so it also has gravity. It just has much less mass than the sun and the earth, so it has less gravity. And then the last thing they all have in common is that they all rotate, which surprises some people too. Some people don't realize that the sun rotates. It does rotate, it just rotates in a different way than the earth and moon. Since the earth and moon are solid, they rotate all at once. Since the sun is made of gas, it rotates differently and it kind of rotates at different speeds at the North and South Pole than it does in the center. It's kind of just more swirling than what you would think of how the earth and the moon rotate, but it does rotate. All right, so what the kids in class are going to do is they are going to do this kind of sort with a partner or a table group and then they're gonna do one together first and then they will do one independently. Um, so we will practice and remember there's a short quiz on Schoology. So this is a triple, a triple Venn diagram. 
you know that a regular Venn diagram is when we're comparing two things, but here we are comparing three. So something that's true just about the sun will go here. Something that's true just about the earth here, just about the moon here. But then when we have overlaps, if it's true just about the sun and moon, but not the earth, it'll go here. Sun and earth, but not the moon here. Earth and moon, but not the sun here. And then all three in the middle. So, um, ooh. all right, let us get started. The first one says a planet. I'll give you a second to think about, decide if this is talking about the sun, earth, or moon, or two of those things, or all three of the, those things. I'll give you a second. And hopefully you came up with that this is just referring to the earth. The earth is the only one out of these three that is a planet. All right, this one says produces light. I'll give you a second to think. Hopefully you came up with the sun. The sun is the only one out of these three that produces light. Satellite of Earth. I'll give you a second, think about it. This is referring to just the moon. The moon is a satellite of Earth. All right, then we have has an atmosphere. Has an atmosphere. Hopefully you came up with the sun and earth both have an atmosphere. So I'm gonna put it right here where sun and earth overlap. The moon does not have an atmosphere. The next one says a star. And the only one of these that is a star is the sun. This one says revolves around the sun. That would be the earth. The moon revolves around the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. Has frozen water. This would be referring to the earth and the moon. They both have frozen water. The sun does not have frozen water. Then we have composed of rock. That would also be referring to the earth and moon. The sun is composed of gas. Smallest mass, that would be referring to the moon. It's the smallest of the three objects. Has gravity. That would be all three. They all three have gravity. Water covers most of its surface. That's the earth. The sun does not have water. The moon only has a little bit of frozen water. Has mountains and plains. That would be the moon and the earth as well. Reflects light from the sun. That would be the earth and the moon as well. Couple more. We have rotates. This would remember be all three. Those are the only two that all three have. They both have gravity, they both rotate. Then we have largest mass. That would be the sun. And then we have has plants and animals. That would be the earth. All right, I hope that you had fun comparing and contrasting the sun, earth, and moon, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.